Oh my gosh. Oh. Just as I start the recording, John Wall to the Clippers. Double body ball for the Laker fans today. No Kyrie Irving. News came out, Kyrie opted in. Now John Wall goes to the Clippers. For years, I was never part of this Clipper agenda. That they were like, oh, they're a great team. I said, they don't fit. They don't have point guard play. You have a lot of ball stopping players and Marcus Morris and, and Kawhi and, and, and Leonard. There's no cohesion to this team. Now Marcus Morris is kind of faded to black. You have Powell, you have uh, Covington. This team is just deep. Now they add John Wall. And a lot of people say, oh, John Wall hasn't played. He could have played last year. He was healthy. They just didn't want him to play. He's one of the more athletic players in the league, pass force point guard, elite defender. I don't know why the Lakers didn't jump on it. Like Laker Nation, man, what are we going to do, bro? What, what, what are we going to do? Um. Oh, my God. That's a body blow, man. All right, thank you for tuning in. Uh, check out my good, the bad, the ugly, the Brooklyn Nets that came up today. Drop two more, at least two more this week. I'm going to touch all the teams. I wanted to do it before free agency, but your boy is procrastinating, but I'm locked in now. I'm locked in, man. You know, just got to, you know, I had to take care of some things physically, mentally, but I'm locking in. You know what I'm saying? Summertime, you know, it's that that lull in the season where you can kind of, you know, get yourself together as a man before football comes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to do that. All my people out there trying to lose weight, everything else, man. I'm with you. I'm rocking with you. I'm starting at 30 day tomorrow, rock with me. But let's go ahead and get into it. I mean, the news of the day, Kyrie opted in. I guess he played uh, chicken with them. And when you realize that, hey, I'm not going to leave 30 million on the table. He opted in. You know, that's 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 interesting, you know. Uh, because if I'm the Nets, they say he opt in and it's pretty much like he's going to run out the season. If I'm the Nets, man, you know he's going to come in doing the shenanigans. You know he is. He got his money. What you going to do? Oh, we're going to change in the new CBA. So what that mean to him? So I don't know. I would look to trade him. I don't know why everyone's looking at this Russell Westbrook pack, package as a, as a poo-poo platter. You can get players for it. Uh, you know, maybe this is the Lakers fan in me that's talking this way, but I don't understand. You get an, you have an aspiring contract, the Lakers' first pick in 2017 and 2019, 2027, excuse me, and 2029. The Bronx not going to be on the team then. This team was in shambles when he was on the team. You've traded away all your picks. Don't you want to get someone else's picks in the future? So... I don't know. It looks like they're going to run it. You know, I talked about it on the team. There's options. If you run it, you know, take a look at the video. Tell me what you think. But, um, and I'm doing the smoke shows Thursday, all my comments, whoever leaves me a comment, I'm responding to all of them Thursday. I'm going to go live smoke show. So shout out to Godfather, but, um, yeah. So, um, that looks like that's that. Um, John Wall got bought out, um, and, uh, $6 million. So instead of getting 47, he got 41. God bless America. And, uh, he's going to, I guess, recoup that with the Clippers. So shout out to them. Shout out to Steve Ballmer. He wants to win, man. The Clippers are a heavy favorite, heavy. This is one of the deepest teams I've ever seen in my life. I mean, let me pull up the Clippers roster. Let's, let's go here. Let me pull up the Clippers roster, man. This is one of the deepest teams I've seen in my life. Let's pull up the Clippers roster. Shy. She's making me. Roster. Let's look at it. But they have, well, but I think Batum's a free agent. Uh, they got Brandon Boston, who showed some things last year. Covington, Paul George, Rodney Hood, Reggie Jackson. They have Kennard. They're, they're shopping him. Terrence Mann, Marcus Morris Sr., Norman Powell, Zubak. 
man, these are all players that can play. If you're in the finals, they can play. They they have room for them. They can do things on the court. <sighs> I mean, uh, you know, this, this is not a Lakers podcast, but uh, you know, um, Malik Monk said that uh, you know he's willing to take 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 a little bit less to stay with the clip show. So um, we'll see what's there. Steve Clippard returns for second run as Hornets coach. This made me laugh, man. Uh, you know, he runs one of the slowest uh, offenses in the NBA. Uh, he's very turnover averse. I don't know how that computes with LaMelo Ball, um, a free-flowing player. Uh, I mean, obviously, they're going to have to figure out some middle ground. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. You know, to me, they say these leagues are copycat leagues, right? That's what they say. So let's take this season, for example, right? You had new head coach in Ime Odoka versus broadcaster GM turned head coach in Steve Kerr, right? That was a successful formula, right? So you would think that with two outsiders rising and vaulting to the top of the profession, you know, two guys that are new coach, not the retreads, cycle coach, uh, assistant coach, and a guy who wasn't even a coach in AGM, that they would expand their horizons and look in different places to find coaches and you retread them. How many assistant coaches in the league have been toiling, waiting for their opportunity? Why does it take them so long to try something different? Try something new. You're going to retread Clifford? Man, come on, man. Like, come on. Try something new. There's a whole bunch of assistant coaches out there that didn't get a shot this cycle. Try somebody new. I'm not trying to hate on Clifford, but come on, man. Damn. Yeah, man, Kyrie, man, he's, you know, someone said, um, let's, let me pull it up here. Kyrie Irvin. Champion gold medal. This was funny. I saw this today. Look at this. He says, so Barstool put a video of him being the Joker, right? So this is Kyrie. So, you know, this part in uh, The Dark Knight where he's destroying the Nets, right? And he says, add NBA champion and gold medalist. Just thought the statement needs correcting as y'all continue to make money off my name and countless others. I don't know. I, it, it, this is kind of ridiculous. I, th I think that's a ridiculous point, but, uh, um, you know, these, you know, this NBA media only helps to amplify your name and your likeness, um, keeping your name in the zeitgeist after the season is over. So imagine if the season was over, there's no media and nobody's really talking about this, right? The media, NBA media, NFL media shuts down. It's baseball season time. They only talk about baseball season. We don't talk about Kyrie Irving, right? Do you think that helps him or does that hurt him as a brand, as likeliness, as uh, a consumer product as the NBA? Do you think it helps the product or do you think it hurts it? It's kind of ridiculous, but that's another story for another day. But yeah, he said put champion and gold medalist. Kyrie Irving doesn't, you know, he does what he wants, man. He does what he wants. He doesn't c c conform to what you guys are thinking. His, <laughs> his, his comment when he resigned, let me pull it up. <laughs> let me pull it up. He says, he says, no more people keep the world going, but those who dare to be different lead us to tomorrow. <laughs> man, he swears he's M OK, bro. <laughs> Oh my God, Kyrie, Kyrie, MLK. Oh man, bro, you, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. You know, I'm laughing, but I mean, we laughed at Trump. So uh, at that White House dinner, I mean, years back. So I don't know. Maybe he, he ends up becoming the president. Who knows? I mean, shit. Uh, 
man, that was a punch, man. What a what a what a dick punch. Kyrie, and then what's then goes to the Clippers. Come on. Uh Snyder uh has not nice accepted subpoena. We'll see. Uh Jimmy Garoppolo on plan to th- uh throw soon. There was a story that came out today on the I Am Athlete podcast where they talked about Jimmy Garoppolo uh, refusing to play and how they had to play another player because he kind of sat out and they had to play the backup quarterback whose thumb was torn and they ran the ball the whole game and everyone wondered like, well, how did you come into this game plan with just running because the quarterback had a torn ligament in his finger and he couldn't throw the ball. Um, Always the inside stuff, which also may go back into gambling because I'm sure a lot of people who were gambling on the game didn't know that the quarterback had a a torn ligament in his thumb and he couldn't throw the football. But that's another story for another day. Uh, So, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo, this is the second time, you know, he went rogue getting his surgery. And now they're saying he went rogue when he was in New England. So I don't know. Is this the guy that you want leading your team? It's, it's interesting. Uh, they're talking about uh, Watson's suspension might be indefinite, at least one year. Talk about six new cases, possibly. I mean, is, is he ever going to play? I think the Browns need to look into their quarterback situation. Uh, it doesn't look like Baker's going to stay. I, I think he's too emotional to stay. He feels disrespected. He's just, I don't think he's going to stay. So I don't know. They have a Super Bowl contender team now. I mean, I don't, it's probably too late in the game to get a quarterback. Maybe they look into Jimmy Garoppolo. And Cam Newton's still out there. Kaepernick's still out there. But uh, indefinite suspension. What if they hit him with the two years, like that like MOB hit Bowers with the two years? Two years? Puts you in a bind. And they don't got no first round picks. So there's not no, you get a quarterback in the draft. So, um, oh, last thing I want to talk about Draymond versus Perkins. Draymond called Perkins a coon. Perkins went off, you know. He said, you want best to grape in the fruit fight. He said, we know what it is. It was, you know, he was, he was hyped. He was upset and rightfully so. You know, this new media, new media, new media, it's not new media if y'all going to be doing the same things that the old guys did. It's not. It's not new media. It's just media, right? If you, it, Like new media versus old media, like you're making it seem like there's a distinction between the two. And if you're going to do the same thing that the old guys did, crossing lines, withholding information to make it seem like uh, you're better in the situation than you actually are, if you're not going to give us the real details, then what's the point? You know, so that's the old media, new media. As just a man, I think Draymond, he's gone too far. He's gone way too far. And he needs to apologize to that man. And he, I mean, we just talk in sports. Like, how can you be so sensitive someone critiquing you as an athlete, a a sport where people actually literally pay to come watch you play. That's your job. People watch you on TV. People watch you in the arenas. And that's how you make your money. You know, a lot of times they say, okay, what if you were at work and people were judging you and criticizing you, but people don't pay to watch me do what I do. People don't pay. I mean, hopefully they do eventually, but People don't pay to watch a banker, you know, put together a financial projection, you know, for his client. Like people don't watch an accountant. People don't pay to watch him put up someone's taxes. They pay to watch you play. So they have a right to critique you. That's the way that you make your money. It goes back to what I said about Kyrie Irving earlier. Like it seems like a lot of these players, they want it the same way. You're making an exorbitant amount of money. The reason that you make that amount of money is because of the intensity of people's thirst for this type of content. You, if, if people, like a lot of times they say, oh, grow up, get a life. If they got a life and they grew up, you wouldn't make as much money as you do, right? 
So it's it's a it's an exchange. And hey, it might not be the best all the time. I don't think people should be talking about your families. You know, people shouldn't take things personally. But at the same time, you're making a lot of coin because of the fervor, fan, fanatic. You know, the people care about this type of stuff. If they don't care, you're not going to be making that much money. And if it's too much for you, you shouldn't play. You don't have to play. Right? Like KD always used to say, like, um, you know, I just want to hoop and I don't want to do all this extra stuff. You can play at the YMCA. Every day there's runs at YMCAs across the, the country. And you might think I'm joking, but I'm serious in the sense that if you don't want the spotlight and you just want to play, you can go do that. But you want the money as well, so you have to take what comes with it, you know? And I once again, talking about the families, you know, at personal attacks, spitting on people, you know, Chris Paul's mom being harassed, all that stuff, that's out of it. But people asking you questions and caring and covering it online, that's kind of ridiculous. That's kind of ridiculous for you to complain about. And, and Draymond calling him a coon because he didn't like his coverage in the finals, that's ridiculous. That's out of bounds. That's a foul ball. You need to apologize to that, man. All right, man, I'm about to go cry my myself to sleep. You know, it's a sad day for the Lakers Nation. I, I don't know what we're going to do, man. This 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 Russell Westbrook contract is just is, is the most toxic asset. It's the worst contract I've ever seen. I don't see no one wants to even consider bringing him in from what I'm hearing. Like, I just, I'm shocked. He's on an expiring deal. No one wants to even consider it. Oh, it's the game's game. All right. Thank you for watching this clip. Do me a favor. Push the button. Hit subscribe. Come on, man. Push it. Go on, everybody up. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. You heard what she said. And do what's right. You heard her. Push the button. The game is a game. So what's up, man? What's up with you otherwise, you know? Uh, the game is a game. Always.